Hello team, welcome to my session on Coffee with Prab and today we are going to discuss about some coffee dose of Certified in Cybersecurity certification. It is a foundation certification from IC Square and I receive a lot of requests, can you make some coffee shots on this certification. So I thought I will start the series and in, in this video we are going to cover some 10-12 questions of domain 1 of CC by IC Square. It is a foundation certification. The best thing is that this certification is free available so you can go and you can give your exam. You only need to pay $50 once you clear the exam and you are applying for a certificate. So in this video we are going to discuss some questions which give you idea about the domain 1 of this certification. and. Uh, I already made a couple of videos on CISSP, CCSP, CSLP, AP. So you can check that also. And if you're new to my channel, do subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell icon to make sure you should not miss my future video on the similar topic. So without wasting a time, let's start with the first part. Oh, it's a very good question. So we'll start with the first coffee shot. When virtual machines are constructed, but normally in the English question, we use the word build and all that. Yes, sometimes you can see in the IC square, they play with the English. Okay, so that is why that is how I use the English here. When virtual machines are constructed and destroyed in elastic cloud computing. When I say word elastic, elastic is basically means scale up and scale down. Okay, so example right now you have a need of 2 GB. It is available. You want to reduce to 1 GB. It is available. So it is elastic in nature. Okay. In a cloud computing environment, the same physical hardware is commonly used by different clients over the time. Definitely in the cloud, we have a concept called pool of computings. It means we have one server. Okay. It is basically shared with the three customer. So this customer is storing a data, this customer stored the data in the same server, this customer stored the data in the same server. So by end of the day, aggregated data stored in a one server only. So question saying that hardware is commonly used by different clients over the time. So implication for which of the following data security does this have? So first is data confidentiality definitely because my data is also there and i destroy the machine and now machine is a new machine is available to other so there is a possibility that you can able to recover the old data so confidentiality definitely there so for me a can be the primary option whenever you go for the cc exam or any ic square exam my suggestion is that read the question carefully till the last line and consider all four option as a best option this is my suggestion okay do not assume this is the best only no consider all the four option as a best option okay one more important thing whenever you answer the question your brain is basically work in a two mode one is called as a system one and system two system one think fast and it give the 90 percent wrong information and system two think slow but it give the very good information, right information. So sometimes what happened in hurry bari, we select the wrong option. This happened. So in IC square exam, think from a system two. Apply your knowledge, what you learn. So here the question was elastic. Then the question changed to security issue. So if the word elastic is there, the answer is availability. But they're saying that which of the following data security issue does this have when we reusing a hardware or sharing a hardware with other. So for me, confidentiality look good. Integrity is also make sense because integrity is all about protection against unauthorized modification. Availability basically means the data must be available, resource must be available, which was, which is basically one of the foundation principle of cloud. But that is not a security issue. Okay, and D is called as a data authenticity. Authenticity is all about it is coming from a right source and all that. But if the question talking about data security issue, the biggest concern is basically confidentiality. Okay because you going to reuse the hardware. Okay, so when you're going to reuse the hardware and it will be used by multiple people, so there is a possibility data will be shared or mistakenly shared with other tenant and all that, which is also called as a multi-tenant. That is why I'm going with the answer A for alpha. Okay, because it's saying the implication of which of the following data security issue does this have? And another keyword they're saying that the same physical hardware is commonly used by different clients. So when multiple hard, or same hardware is used by multiple client, there is a possibility data get shared with multiple tenant. Let's move to the next coffee shot. So next question is, what is the purpose of the backup of electronically stored data on a hard disk? SDD means hard disk drive. So first keyword is backup. Why we take backup? If file is deleted, we can recover back, right? 
so option eight data confidentiality okay but while taking a backup you know once we take a backup we protect with the password that is there integrity back it is good to have a feature in the backup integrity but for the integrity purpose we never take a backup availability that is true that is how the backup works right so when file is deleted we can able to recover the data through the backup and that is why the backup is all about availability authenticity is one of the feature in a backup that okay you can add a signature to that so the most closest option is basically called as a c data availability that is why we taking a backup let's move to the next coffee shot okay good question what is the primary purpose of separation of a duty in the organization now let's understand why we introduce the sod see there is a one process we have there is a one process okay this process is called as a financial process now there is a one person which is called as a amit now what amit is doing amit is basically creating a file amit is basically approving a file and amit is basically processing the fund okay what happened so if he doing all the activity together there is a possibility he can create a fake bill he can approve the fake bill and he can take the money out okay so this is basically called as a fraud and in the information security principle this is called as a integrity issue it means things are not happening as per the process it is considered as unauthorized transactions and all that so question is what is the primary purpose of separation duty in the organization option a data confidentiality makes sense because what is separation duty is now amit has appointed or the uh, management has appointed three people so one is basically amit one is basically supriya and one is basically called as a lokesh so now amit will basically create a bill uh, sunita or sushmita will basically approve the bill and lokesh is basically sign the bill so amit it, it will basically give the assurance to the management there will no fraud will be occur why because if amit want to do the fraud he need to involve sushmita and lokesh to commit this fraud and they know very well they cannot do this fraud so by this way it giving a overall assurance to the management there is no fraud to be occur okay so primary purpose of separation of a duty is to provide the integrity of the transaction so confidentiality is one of the access part okay the person will be limited to this area this person will be limited to this area this person is limited to this area that is there understood that is there but by this way we are not achieving a sod so sod primarily was introduced for the integrity purpose that is why i am going with the answer b for beta always remember so sod is basically providing an assurance that there is no transaction fraud to be occur because one person will not have a control of and to end transaction but there is a possibility all three people can work together that's why we introduce a further control which is called as a mandatory vacation and and uh, this is called uh, mandatory vacation and job rotation okay data authenticity does not make sense because authenticity is basically one of the principle of sender so that is a we remove availability is definitely is all the data must be available which has no connect with sod so only left is a and b so b is the answer let's move to the next coffee shot so next coffee shot is purpose of mandatory vacation as a security measure is to discover which of the following okay network administrative fraud makes sense to mandate what is mandatory vacation let's understand as i said we have a three people uh, amit supriya and lokesh amit is basically uh, creating a file sumit or sumitra is basically approving the file and uh, lokesh is the one who signed the file so in order to complete one transaction three parties are basically involved and that is how we maintain the separation duty and by which we giving an assurance of the integrity of the transaction now what about amit involved these two people to commit the fraud so in that case he will say okay boss let's do work together i will create a file you sign it and you will approve so we can earn extra money management understood very well there is a possibility after some period of time they might commit a fraud or there is a possibility they can become a good friend so what happen is the company introduce a mandatory vacation as a process so in this case what happen is the person will be away from a process for a time being and someone else will take over the department 
so it give the fear to amit that okay in my absence someone will audit and review and he will get to know the things so mandatory vacation in some of the companies was basically introduced for auditing purpose okay to check transactions and all that i'm sure you have noticed sometime when the when we suspend some government officials and all that why because they should be away from that particular investigation so we we can do the investigation without pressure and all that suppose my boss was involved in one fraud so they have sent him in a mandatory vacation so that during investigation he should not or she should not create a pressure on me oh, oh you are my boss uh, you are my team member and you doing an investigation against me so that is why mandatory vacation was introduced as a compensatory control for separation duty and here the question saying that purpose of mandatory vacation is to discover which of the following see it is not necessary mandatory vacation required vulnerability on the system it can be done by anyone so be removed it in some regulation it is mandatory but it is not every comply regulations required okay software vulnerability is a vendor code it is not necessary we need a mandatory vacation for that so primary reason is to identify the fraud so network administrator fraud i want to discover and for that i need a mandatory vacation so in that case a person will be away from a process his access will be revoked from everything let's move to the next coffee shot so answer is a okay security professional with the ic square certification are expected to serve first option a company option b happy client option c humanity and option d good security advisor see when you talk about ic square they always say people safety remember that okay they always say protect people safety of the people so that is basically their preference okay so if they saying that expected to serve first from the cc exam point of view remember the four canons okay when you preparing for this remember the four canons of ic square because that will be testable in the exam and from the canon point of view the first thing is people safety not a company so a removed definitely i'm going to impress my client also okay i can be a good security advisor but beyond that i want to be a good human so that is why the close option is basically c humanity so that's why i'm going with the word called humanity let's move to the next question or next coffee shot okay so risk management is also when one of the most important topic in domain one we have okay what kind of a risk response enterprise used to stop or remove the activity or technology that caused a risk in the first place so we have a four type of risk response okay so first is called as a risk avoidance risk avoidance basically mean we avoid the opportunity we avoid the source that bring risk to the organization example for me if tomorrow cc exam up to 1000 dollar i know even i clear the exam i won't get a return value from my company so i better drop the idea so this is how i avoid the risk okay second is called as a risk transfer see one more example of risk avoidance is uh, discontinuing the business okay i planning to build a new data center for new customer i have no idea there will be any possible business but i am investing lot of security control cost in everything so it's better i will basically drop the idea because if i go for the new initiative it bring more risk to the organization okay so when we talking about responding to any risk okay it is defined based on a three parameter it is measured based on a three parameter the first is basically called as a risk uh capacity second is basically called as a risk appetite and third is basically called as a risk tolerance now let's take an example your total salary every month is coming 5000 rupees from that you have invest ready to invest 2000 dollar or 2000 rupees in a mutual fund okay so right now you have decided to invest 1500 in a mutual fund so that is your current risk tolerance one day what happen you discover some new schemes and you have decided your pocket capacity so you went beyond the appetite and invested 2500 in the mutual fund so this is how you increase the risk appetite but definitely you can't increase the appetite beyond the capacity because that is a maximum salary you're getting so right now i can see the risk is beyond the capacity to manage okay my current business is already handling this risk appetite and new business there is a possibility i need to invest lot of fund which go beyond my capacity so it's better i will drop the business which increase my risk capacity so that is why 
that is called as a risk avoidance and they're saying stop or remove the activity second is called as a risk transfer risk transfer is basically like transfer to insurance and all that okay so i decided i will take insurance and that is how i will buy the security assurance okay so example like this is basically my uh, company and we have decided to outsource some activity to the tcs and tcs saying that we will take care of operation and any ha anything happen we will pay for the cost also so this is how we have purchased insurance i have transferred the activity but still i'm accountable to my customer okay so that is called as a risk transfer third is basically called as a risk acceptance acceptance basically mean when the risk is below the appetite cost of opportunity high let's accept the risk now cc exam is free let me try if i fail it is okay there's no cost involved in that so i will accept the risk and go for the exam if i pass it is great if i fail it is also okay because i'm not investing anything so that is basically called as a risk acceptance primarily we go for risk acceptance in that case when the risk is below the appetite level or it is within the acceptable level and d is basically called as a risk mitigation in this case the question saying that stop or remove the activity technology that cause risk in the first place so we are discontinuing something that's why the answer is a for alpha let's move to the next coffee shot we just discussed this topic which will be more appropriate risk response when identified risk is within the organization risk tolerance it means risk tolerance right within it means within appetite and all that so we avoid no risk avoidance will be go in that case when risk is beyond the capacity transfer okay we are investing some control mitigation we implementing control to reduce the risk tolerance but here question itself saying that identified risk is within the organization risk tolerance so only close option is basically called as a risk acceptance so we accept that risk which is below the appetite or, or lower the tolerance level that's why the answer is c for charlie let's move to the next coffee shot okay next question what is the most feasible risk response when the cost of anti malware exceed the damage probability of computer virus see sometime what happen when the cost of solution okay we have decided that we will respond to the risk but when we saw the cost of control is higher than cost of impact in that case also always remember primary chances we will accept the risk example like uh, i'm going for the ic square cssp training okay yeah training cost is higher than cost of exam so i accepted the risk and i said okay i decided i will i will do my self study or right now the system was infected with the virus and uh, what happen is the virus if it damage the system there's nothing in that but implementing an antivirus on that is more expensive for me so in that case i want to continue business but the problem is the cost of control is higher than cost of impact so in that case we accept the risk okay or we transfer the risk but primarily here the question it's saying the possible risk response okay definitely d is the matrix we have so d we eliminate which is called risk tolerance definitely we are not avoiding because it's saying response when cost of anti malware exceed the damage probability it mean we are in a stage where we proceed with the risk so we left with a and b either we can go for b or either we can go for a see risk transfer is also kind of a cost of control in terms of insurance and all that and sometimes what happen when insurance cost is higher than cost of impact in that case we accept the risk so in this case the only possible option we can go for the a for alpha risk acceptance okay so let's move to the next question which of the following is a true statement of identification option a process of asserting the identity and having it confirm makes sense process of validating that identity being claimed by the user entity is known to the system but that is the definition of authentication option c process of granting or denying specific request that is the definition of authorization and process of sender denies action it is a definition of non repudiation so answer is basically a for alpha this is a true statement of the identification do let me know how do you find uh, these videos and do share me your comments uh, do you want me to make a further video on cc on other domains okay looking forward for your feedback and if you still not subscribe to my channel do subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon to make sure you should not miss my future videos on a data privacy cyber security information security topics cheers happy learning